Shabbat Shalom. Stretch out. What does it take to make a difference for someone else? It takes effort. We're all happy to help someone else when it doesn't really involve any effort on our part. But truly helping and making a difference requires us to stretch beyond our comfort zone and put in that extra effort. In this week's parsha, we begin the Exodus story and we're introduced to the character of Moshe. Moshe's mother, Yocheved, bravely decides to disobey Pharaoh's decree and she hides her infant son. This is no small act. Indeed, it's a great risk, because if she's caught with him, both she and he, and possibly her whole family, will be killed. Then she takes a leap of faith and places him in a basket on the Nile, and a second brave woman, Pharaoh's daughter, bravely, courageously takes this baby in. She knows that the baby's an Israelite and that her father has decreed that they be killed, but she also disobeys, because as the Talmud says, she sees God's presence in the child. She doesn't see him as just an Israelite, but as an image of God. Specifically, the Torah says that she stretched out her arm to take the basket. The image of an outstretched arm is a popular one in the Torah, but it's usually referring to God, as in God redeemed the Israelites, the Yad Chazaka Uvizroa Netuya, with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm. Because that's what it takes to make a difference. You have to reach beyond yourself, beyond your comfort zone. You have to be brave and even take a risk. And when we stretch out our arms, then our arms become like God's arms redeeming someone from the troubles that afflict them. I look forward to seeing the Shabbat at TRZ Friday night at 7.30 p.m. for Shabbat Hallelujah and Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Shabbat Shalom.